you want to see her, you have to follow the stream. <laughs> then you will get to see her as well. Okay, game two started. And uh, let's erase the top things. Because that's Dark Age and Fury Age, not super interesting on Arena, of course. And let's introduce the players. Uh, on the east side of the map, we have uh, Timitius, and he's playing as the Stone. No, of course, I'm joking. He's playing as the Slavs. Okay, that's uh, interesting. I'm not sure if you've seen Slavs before, maybe once. But I'm not completely sure. And it seems like that he even has a, yeah, a second barrel bush. So that's pretty nice for uh, for Fionor. And to the other side, the west side of the map, we have uh, Stefan, and he's playing as Spanish. So Spanish against uh, Slavs, that could be a pretty interesting matchup. Probably go to see an Eric also and some uh, Conquistador rating. That's always interesting to see. But I'm happy that uh, at least one player picked another uh, expansion sieve. It's always nice, I mean, that's what this tournament is all about. Uh, seeing different sieves in action than in the everyday normal ones. But I don't blame Stefan Tusin for the expansion uh, as well, of course, because you know he's, he knows that uh, Fionor is a better player, so you have to pick a sieve where you're comfortable with. Uh, anyway, let's take a quick look at uh, the maps for both players. First for Stefan, and we can see that the gold is pretty good in the back, they have close to the wall but not too bad and we can see that the stone is here in the back as well as the first world is going in and that's pretty, pretty good and this gold is in the back, this gold is in the back and he even has a third gold in the back as well so that's really a really good map for Stefan I mean last map wasn't great but this map is definitely looking better for him I mean all his gold, gold inside of the walls so it's looking really good for uh, Stefan stone also not too far forward so I can use it as well to get a cast up for the free cookie stores. And let's take a look. It's yeah, all this, all this stone and all this gold are inside his walls. You don't see that too often. And I definitely can't play the map if anything goes wrong. Let's see, second warrior. No problem at all for, uh, for Stefan. And now let's take a look at uh, Fionor's base. I mean, he's already uh, luring... Uh, Doing his deer with the scout, so it's good. Also going to bring in a second boar right now. And let's take a look at his resources. And we can see that this gold is pretty far forward. In quite an interesting shape. And the stone is also pretty far forward. And let's take a look at this extra gold. It still has this if I find the sheep. Yep, we did. Maybe he has to collect them because they're pretty far away from his base. And otherwise he could lose them to uh, to Stefan. But this goes outside his base, and well, at least it seems like yeah. There you go. He also, Fionnur also having a second gold mine in his uh, inside of his walls. That's pretty good for him as well. So his main gold, main stone, are pretty far forward, but at least he has a uh, safe extra gold in the back of his map. So not too bad either. Yeah, the slabs uh, bones, farm bones, indeed, pretty strong. I'll show you guys. There you go. 50% faster, that's such an important bonus as well. And you know, also, there you go, unique deck for stronger monks. They're pretty good monks. You have a lot of options to, to go for with, uh, with this last. I mean, you have great siege as well. So, yeah, so many ways you can go. It will be interesting to see what, uh, what direction he's going to pick. Uh, there it goes, Stefan going to click up to the Fury Age right now. Two villages more than, uh, than Fyodor, and he's instead going to look for a, a castle. And which of course is pretty standard for the first Spanish. And you can do a lot of damage, of course, when you get your conquistadors inside your opponent's base. So, yeah, just, just preparing their uh, the strategies, their. Uh, the basis for their early attack, and I think it will be most in interesting to see what uh, what direction Fiona is going to pick. There we go. He's going blacksmith and throwing the blacksmith market, of course. Nothing unusual about that. Getting a couple more villagers out as well, and he should be get a set to go. To pick up to the castle age in a really nice time. Just a little bit needs a little bit more food. So he will have some idle time on his town center, but getting another villager out and 
there we go, up to the castle age. Um, with 28 villagers, that's pretty, looking pretty strong. That's a pretty good time as uh, for Fionor. 28 villagers up to the castle age, and. <laughs> and there you go, Stefan pointing out that you had nice main gold and the stone as well. <laughs> That's nice. Hey, Celesk, how are you doing? Okay, yeah, it's a nice uh, scout bar going on, but oof. Fenor not going to run into uh, Stefan's base. But he's trying to look for him again. I mean, he has already done some damage to um, Stefan's base, so. <laughs> Boom with monks. Okay. Let's see if it's indeed going that way. That would be quite ballsy. I mean, being like. <laughs> they're just telling each other uh, the strategies. That's, uh <laughs> that's quite a useful. There you go. And forward to the town center for uh, Fafino to protect his gold, to protect his uh, stone. I mean, the pretty bad. Uh, Better situated, but yeah, now their town center is going to uh, going to protect that. Still has to be careful, of course, for the for the doors, which can snipe units from a distance away. This is way, but there you go. Castle is up. Immediately going for conquista doors. Yep, there you go. And there's the monastery for uh, for Fionor. Getting the most out already. There are the conquistadors, and Fino are now, know now knowing that, uh, yeah, Seven was saying the truth. Of course, it wasn't the worst red choice to go for uh, conquistadors. And let's see, there will be a close fight for the for the relics. And there you go, monk going to first. Oh, that was a quick conversion. That was really lucky for uh, for Fino. That was a really fast uh, conversion. If you slow down the game speed, but yeah, that was great for uh, for Fionor. Quick conversion, getting the scout and uh, I mean the, the conquistador, and the conquistador also killed uh, Stefan's monk. So not great for for Stefan. I mean, it's of course important for uh, Stefan that that starts doing some damage. I mean, let's take a look. Both on two down. Three town, uh, three town sends right now for uh, Fiener and he's going for a fourth, so definitely going for a boom. And uh, Stefan is only on uh, two town centers, so we have to try to uh, start doing some pushing pretty soon. Hey, Leopard, how are you doing? There we go. Let's see what's going to happen. Another Monk going out, and the monk is going out again for uh, for Fionor. Going to try to collect the relics, which are pretty all on the outside. I mean, as you just noticed, this one is pretty close to the trees. Scout it, he did. Stefan really going to work, is really working right now on his forward, making siege workshop as well, getting a mangonel out, and the mangonel will be able to attack the. Town center, and let's take a quick look if uh, Timothy has already got the upgrades for monks. Um, no, he didn't. Okay, but you can see that they got a lot of upgrades. They get all the upgrades except for uh, for heresy. But yeah, you don't really need that. They do get all the upgrades. You might not immediately think that that uh, the slots have good monks, but they really do. Take a quick no sip of my drink. I take a look back at the south. And this scout is just standing there and not going to kill the, the monks. But here comes uh, the now for uh, the first half one, killing one villager and now going to probably attack the, the town center. And what is damage is going to do about it? He's going to uh, build these works on his own. That's probably it. A good idea to get some magnets out of your own. 
and he just keeps uh, collecting the relics. I do think that, yeah, Stefan did at least get one relic, and he's now going for this one, which is really close to his, well, to his base as well. So it will be three relics for uh, for Fienor and two uh, relics for uh, for Stefan. Look at this shot from the Manganels. Really weird. It's, that, it's this direction, but he's shooting at the down center. That was kind of funny. Yeah, some P-Tarts uh, could be nice as well for uh, for Stefan. Let's see if he's doing that. Um, oh. Nope, no P-Tarts are coming out for uh, Stefan. But he's going to take down this uh, town center with his Manganels. Pino is trying to repair it, however. But he just wants, probably just waiting for uh, his own Manganel to come out. Let's see, we can snipe uh, Stefan's Manganels. Also has to be careful of course for the, for the Conquistadors. Yeah. There we go, let's see what uh, Fiona is going to do with this uh, Manganel. Maybe going to kill one. Although I do think, yeah, Stefan should know now that uh, Fiona has a Manganel of his own. Uh, yeah, there you go, up to the Imperial Age as well. In a pretty good time. So, it really starts getting important for, for Stefan that he's pretty going to do some damage, which is working of course. I mean, he's trying to take down this, uh, this town center, but Fionor just keeps repairing it. He has two bits inside. And, wow, look at this uh, castle for uh, for Stefan. Really offensive, this is what I'd like to see. Going to attack this gold as well. So that's a nice, uh, nice castle. Going over fairy castle, of course, because of the Spanish uh, fierce building bonus and there are one with manganels. But still, two manganels left for uh, for Stefan. And it seems like it's getting closer and closer to taking down this town center, which will be good for him, of course. And then he should try to take down these walls and he should be able to do some raiding. There we go. A couple more shots. This uh, may not probably going to die to the Conquistadors. There we go. Now he's going to get in. Okay. Now he's aggression for Stefan now, and there we go. Castle going up for uh, for Fiona, and that's uh, that's actually a really good like, castle location, I think. I mean, you can't build it much more forward. I mean, that's a little bit too risky, but. Uh, Oh, there we go, and finally we have some P-Tarts, uh, like T90 was already asking for in the chat. P-Tarts coming out for uh, for Stefan. And then... Uh, there we go. Getting a second one is ready as well. So he will be in... Um, there we go, and... Walls are down, and there in come the, the Conquistadors. But this castle should be able to get up before the Conquistadors get there. So this that's at least good for Fionor. <laughs> so let's look for another way in. It doesn't know, doesn't know what yeah, it doesn't know that the castle is there. The cookies doors are pretty strong against it. You could try to take down this house or the blacksmith. And it'll do, do, do okay amount of damage against buildings and yes has four manganels as well. So I should be able to do some uh, pressure and Fionor is just getting um, Monks out. Two monsters right now, and as yes, now it's an army of six monks. And let's see if he's getting more resources for the. Yeah, he's getting geography and buff printing. So those monks were pretty strong. And let's take a quick look if he uh, goes to try to convert something now right now. And not getting anything, it seems. Let's take a quick look if he already has a uh, redemption. Uh, yeah, he does also ask redemption. So Stefan has to be real careful right now. And I mean, the most can be really strong. And this Magnal could be going down to the castle. Oh, really close, but staying alive. Let's see, probably going to get to one. Uh, yeah, this Magnal should be his right now. There we go. And another Magnal for and another one. Stefan losing all his Magnals. There we go, losing all his Magnals to uh, to Fienor. 
Freenor showing the Stefan the strength of the, the Mega Nelson. That could be a pre pretty decent shot. It was not a bad shot, did a lot of damage, but didn't kill anything. And Freenor just working now on taking down the castle. Let's see more monks coming out for uh, Freenor as well. And. Monks are of course a uh, decent counter against uh, Conquistadors. And Stefan isn't too far away from uh, going up to the Imperial Age of his own. Himself. There we go, he has a resource and he's close up to the Imperial Age. Good job. And is he going in and out to Conquistadors? That's the question. Uh, yeah, there, yeah, he just saw them, yeah. But he's probably just, yeah, going to wait until his Imperial Age to get a... David trap out of his own and to take down his castle. I mean... This castle is a really good castle for Fionor, I mean... It's really stopping um, Seven from entering his base, his, his base. And to and uh, Fiona just uh, keeps um, look at that five monsters right now. It seems that's a lot, and they're all uh, losing monks. This one is uh, even getting an illumination, so the monks uh, recover faster after a successful conversion. There's a lot of monks for uh, Fiona, and that will be really annoying for uh, Stefan. Monks can be so frustrating. At least it's making a couple of ramps, that's pretty good. But this cost is going down. I mean, one more shot, maybe two, and let's see. Look, there's another Mega Nell shot, and here this could be a pretty big fight. Getting two conversions already, and the cost is finding down three conversions. Fighting on the castle, maybe not a great idea as well, but it seems like it's going to kill the monks, but it's also going to lose a lot of uh, conquistadors. So I'm not sure how I feel about this fight for uh, Stefan. Look at that. The monks do so much damage and this is a pretty good fight for uh, Fiennor and... I feel like this could be the GG. Yeah, there it is. GG for Stefan. It was a great fight of course for, uh, for Fiennor and converting a lot of units. A lot of conquistadors joining the yellow side. And... Yeah. It's really risky of course to fight under the castle and against all the monks. But he also knew that he had to do some damage to <coughs> to Fionor's base. But the monks were just too strong. Yeah, great monks, micro. Look at all the conversions. Ten uh, conquistadors converted. So GG. Fionor also game winning game one, uh, game two, and I think he has to play in round two against uh, Tato. So that should be a nice match. Let's take a quick look at the achievements. I mean, there you go. 16 units converted for uh, Fionor. I mean, that's a lot. Especially in the last fight, he converted a lot of units. And he also converted, of course, uh, yeah. He also converted, of course, uh, a lot of manganels as well. So, great monk micro for Fionor. And that really gives them the um, victory. Seven did it do to do too bad, but it just Fiona was just better. No shame in that, of course, but still, it was a fun game. Some nice monk micro. It's always fun to see. It's just really frustrating to play against. That's the uh, problem. Face difference is pretty big as well, and yeah, I like that both players uh, were true to their words, telling each other each other's uh, strategies and actually doing that. Oh well, GG. Fiona winning this game, the series, but uh, two 0 and advancing to the um, quarterfinals. Yeah. Okay.